I was recently watching a video about another ad agency in a series called Agency Unfiltered on YouTube. Really cool, maybe I'll link it out below. But one of these ad, ad agencies puts up their own credit cards and fronts all the money for ad spend for all their clients. This puts them in a position where they're now getting all of the points, which would be 2%. I mean, if you go with an Amex gold card, you could get 6% on advertising. That's insane money. And so if you're if you're looking at clients that, let's say we have a client that's paying us 10% and we move all their ad spend onto our credit cards, at a minimum, we're gonna be getting 2% cash back. Now we talked to our fractional CFO about this. He obviously pointed out the fact that there's a lot of risk that goes along with that, right? Like if somebody doesn't pay you back, you just got stiffed on 100, 100 grand, that could shut your business down if you're not uh, flush with cash, right? Or you gotta make these massive credit card payments. So there's risk with that. So we started talking about like what qu could qualify for us to explore this with clients. It would be, you know, 10 years in business or 10 million in sales or profitable or 3X ROAS minimum, something like that. See, because for me, in exploring this very creative way to bring in more money for the company and very painless and easy, I mean, you don't have to do anything. You just switch the card out and suddenly you're getting crazy points. There's a lot we could do for clients with these points. I mean, we could fund our all of our new business ventures on all these points and dinners, baseball games, any kind of travel that goes on, all of the going to see clients, I mean, all this stuff could go against these points and it wouldn't cost the company anything. But if the clients don't pay us back, that's a big problem. If a client pays with the check too, it doesn't cost, we actually do keep the money because we're not paying Stripe two and a half percent or whatever it is. So there's a lot of really interesting ways to think about this as a real option for our company. And it was a really unique way to bring more revenue in. If we're getting paid 10%, suddenly we're getting 12%, right? I had never even come close to considering this in the past. It wasn't even something I'd thought of, not that I'm against it, but we talked to the partners and they're all thinking like, hey, if we get if we do this with the right companies, like not companies that are startups or on the brink, it could work out really well, especially because we see the ROAS. I know if these companies are converting or not. I know for sure if they're making money or not because we're talking all about their numbers. So if we get in with a company that we know is doing really well and we tell them, yo, we're ready, we're gonna put your ad spend on our credit cards now and you guys can reimburse us, they would think that's a no-brainer too because then they get to float. We get paid net 30. We bill on 30 days and we get paid net 30. So that means they don't even have to pay us for 60 days. They get to float all that cash for a long, long time before they pay us back. So it could be a really, really big thing for clients and a no-brainer for them as well, depending on how they use their points and if they use their points and how they do their accounting. So there's benefits to both parties if we can mitigate the risk. You know, it would have to be that we get some sort of collections efforts that are made or the last thing we, we would ever, never sue a client. So we have to figure out what we could do if they go bankrupt. What happens to the 200K that we've been spending for them every month? I don't know. There's risk there, but there's also a lot of reward. Like I said, MX Gold Card, you get 6% cash back on advertising. That is insanity. Can you imagine if we went from 12% to 18% just for swapping our cards in. And imagine also what this would do for our credit. I mean, the credit for our company would skyrocket if we end up taking our, our credit line from half a million dollars to a million dollars and paying it off every month. I mean, that would be unbelievable for the company. We could qualify for loans for real estate. We could get a line of credit that would increase endless numbers of things that we can do to benefit our company for this as long as we're able to mitigate the risk. Our, our fractional CFO thought it was a spectacular idea if we could mitigate the risk and told us to seriously consider it. So I think that's what we're doing and I'm excited. I, I think it could work out really, really well for us, but we'll see, we haven't actually done it yet. So I'm interested to find out how it goes. That's it for this video, something we're exploring now. Thanks for watching. My name is Bobby Dietz and we'll see you in the next one.